This the like, this is the like, this ain't the like, this ain't the like, baby. Love ain't hip hop. What is this? I don't know. It's Hollywood. You tried it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black beat back on. Loving Hip Hop Hollywood season, I don't know, reunion part two. I never season know. Season six. Girl, uh, cut yes. the cameras. Dead ass. Um, this episode of Loving Hip Hop, we're coming back off of everybody jumping on April. Everybody just like, April, you wrong. Da 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 da. Um, wasn't Jay Boog pressing her and saying that she was, you know, doing some stuff and April was responding like, you don't want me to ring receipts, baby girl. Yeah, but say he owned up to his stuff. She didn't. So it's a different what stuff did he? But he didn't say it right there in that moment. But the people that really know, really know. So you don't have okay, to. Okay, well, let us know since you put in the everybody. You ain't got to know. It's already known. Yes, we do. So Jay Boog apparently, allegedly, all of the things up below, um, they said that he didn't slept with Omarion's mama. Okay. So he should just say it did. No. You out here airing her out? She, no, she already aired herself out. It's a difference. Who aired herself out? April Fifth. Well, April said together. just not that. She got other tea about other folks doing things too. So I mean, he heard that's when he came. What back was the other stuff? They said somebody else. Who was the other boy? They said um, Raz B did something with everybody else. Who? What was it? Oh, that's why everybody's making fun of B Two K. But um, girl, it's a lot. That was years ago. No, so Miss April ago. said, "Girl, cut the cameras. Don't be out here trying to expose me." I did like how Yo Yo did um, jump in and say, "Hey, I'm not here for y'all." Instead of jumping and ragging on this woman, you know, Jason Lee, and he is. Jason Lee, Jason Lee is a womanizer who is not attracted to women. Um, he's always heavy, aggressive on women. He poured their drinking. Um, who was that? <laughs> Nasal E. Girl, that was it. Even, <laughs> even, like, even though I don't like her, that was still disrespectful <laughs> because he wouldn't have did no man like that. So I Jason Lee, I don't like him, and he's a colorist. We ain't forgot about you while you were around here looking like Hoggers Greedy. And before the girls even said, well, Johnson, that might be a little man. Like, uh, yeah. Me and Jason Lee about the same size. No, we're not. There used to be this guy you used to talk to that had a crush on Jason Lee. You like big boys too, so. But Jason Lee's not cute. You like him, girl. I don't, him, I don't like him with that toupee on. I don't. He said that is not a toupee. It is him and Zell both got toupees, so no, I don't care. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You ma can tell that's not Zell's hair. Good night. No, ma'am. Yes. No, ma'am. Yes, toupee. So, so moving on, I think that Nina Parker did a really good job of Nina <laughs> Parker. For closure. Okay. <laughs> Girl, don't try me. You're, you're just trying to lay your head down so your little waves can show. You tried it. You're no. uh, a mess. No. That's why I want your hairline leaning to the left. It's not. Anyway, uh, Nina Parker did a great job hosting the reunion. Hey, what do you think about our guy um, sitting in the sippy, um, in the, the um, upper room? He the reason we got three parts now. I. He's the reason we have three parts now. If you look at it, they add all this extra stuff that don't normally be there for him. Take all that out, it's two parts. So, it's his fault. Girl, they said he did post a video of him dragging himself. Um, Cause he know, he know it's bad, he know it be bad. Well, I think he's learning. <laughs> it's been a long time now. You can tell he's trying to get like, from- Like, he's been doing this since what, 20? He's trying to get away from Instagram, you can tell. He's like, Mama Pam, why you sitting there like, you want a basketball team? Girl, the jokes if it's gonna come out, it's gonna come out. You gotta think about- The jokes just don't be, it just, it don't be funny to me. It was, but when Mama Pam was sitting there, didn't I say the same thing though? Girl, don't try it. <laughs> but when Mama Pat did, did, did not catch on to it, and then he made a joke about it. Yeah, but his, I actually laughed at that one. It was funny. You laughed at my joke? His joke. Do you laugh at my jokes? You didn't make one first. You know, I did you make You noticed how she was sitting, but his joke came right after. That's what I'm saying. It was right But I was about time. to perform. Correct. Was, absolutely. I mm -hmm. saw it. So Mama Pat was sitting like she was about to give. She re, it reminded me of the episode of Housewives where they went and got their um, they box steamed. Remember they were sitting on it. It was one episode of Housewives. They were sitting, and then they were sitting in this thing, thing, and the steam was doing I don't know. something. I don't know. Yes, I can't remember what episode of Housewives it was yeah, or what. She, but they was all. It was a rejuvenation. It was a vagina spa or something. Nope. Yes, it was. So that's what Mama Pam was sitting like. So I had posted a video on Instagram with little folks to check it out and laugh at it. Uh, somebody said that. Mama Pam ain't sitting right, she's not feminine or whatever. I was like, she ain't got to be feminine. And somebody said, well, why you brought it up? Because it just looked very funny. Like, it's not even this that she's not she's, sitting like a she, lady. She's quote, quote, a lady. Yeah. But it's just how she was just like, Cause she I, was a hunchback. Out and then, it doesn't matter if it was a guy or a girl. Like, everybody's like got some type of posture going on. Even Wesley had his legs crossed like that. Who? Um, I can't think of the guy that was in the group. 
Marcus Houston had his legs sitting like this. Then you got what's well, like she just took like she taking a shit. I just it just yeah, it's I don't know what it was. I'm leaving. But that's but she was like who who like she like she supposed to be she was sitting there thing like she would freeze us or something <laughs> like she about to ha 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 like she was gonna take her finger up and just throw it <laughs> instead of a big ball of just Shut power up. it was gonna be a big ball of bad weed just Shut going up. down. Mama Pam, you know I love you. Uh, even in your coked out son A1. <laughs> he does not do coke. Yes, yes, he does. He does not do coke. Coca-Cola. He be tired. The coke factory. He be tired. Absolutely. He be up all night in the studio. Got me up all night. All I'm doing is lie eyes. He got me up all night. Uh, what else was going on? The pr the pregnancy rumor came up about, um, who was yeah, it? April. April? What happened? I forgot. Remember Monique said that she was pregnant? And she said she wasn't, but she said she actually got that information from Omarion's team. Oh, so Omarion was out here probably throw some, trying to throw some dirt on um, April's name. And that's where it came from. How but do we feel about the whole situation? Allegedly, it was true. I don't They say it was true that he made, he made her get an abortion. I hope that was not the case. I hope she was not pregnant. Um, but if she had an abortion, that's, that's her. She can do whatever she wants to with her uterus. Uh, yeah, but if she did it, that's fine. But oh, if a man yeah. made you, no, that's yeah, true. Yeah, if, if he, he made her do that. Yeah, no. I don't know. But um, I'm a little bit concerned about Moniz. I'm just kind of jumping straight to Moniz. Moniz starts talking about, you know, what is going on with her mental health and how all this stuff is going on. And it just seems like this Fizz, Tino Fizzle Pop, Miss Auntie, we don't call her Auntie Fizzle Pop. We call her Baby Mama Fizz. That's why I call him. So it seems like Baby Mama Fizz just doesn't have anything. He's like, no, you need to take care of yourself when you take care of your son. You need to do all these things. But he was... Where April was going through some depression and stuff too. And yeah, see, I and think he was there for her. I should have had them comments ready because I've read some comments to the shade room. Some people was agreeing with Moniz, some people agreed with him. And with Fizzle Pop? Yeah, they say it's okay if he get the custody right now. She could just go work on herself. But he needs to be right there in that moment helping her out. He's doing it with some folks that ain't even his kids, his biological kids. Girl, I ain't gonna get into that conversation. You know how desirability works, girl. It makes you, I, I care about you. I care. I want to help you, uh, girl. I'm sure you do. I ain't gonna get into that conversation. But say something. Nothing. That's just this what we were talking about earlier. Nothing. What you were talking about earlier at that place? No, I'm talking about how that's, that's just every since no that game night. Every you know that that whole baby mama baby daddy stuff. That's just how it always is since. He doesn't feel connected to her no more. It's just like, okay, I'm just treating you as whatever now at this point. But Monique just a mother of my child. That's Monique it. was really going off. She was she really, she, I really felt for her. Like I really normally sometimes I don't really be, you know, feeling for Monique, but I felt her. And Why? I, I sometimes I can tell the stuff she's going through is real. She's not sometimes faking this Monique, TV. Like she annoys me, but I this I, stuff is real. I'm gonna have to go back and re-examine it because <laughs> how Monique was acting, like how I was seeing her. Um, I think that loving hip hop is not the best place for you, sis. I think it's time to let go. What is she gonna do for money? Then? I don't know. That's the difficult part. She said it last season she was done. And she... No, there was a season before that she said she was done. Well, she pretty much season had said every she season she done, before. and she comes right back. She so, done. but she can't. Like Moniz can't go to work in no like at no Publix or something. People gonna be like dragging her or something. So I, you know, feel a little bit for her. Um, I'm very disappointed in Fizz how he even treats her. And I, I, girl, this shit ain't fun. I'm, not, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm not disappointed. Like, he's done this time and time before, so it's nothing new. Yeah, Fizz is just trash, but you know, he likes getting trash to April, so she loves it. So we move on to Zell. Um, Zell was giving information to Jason. Remember, Jason. Oh, you talking about here? the picture? Yes. I said, what are you talking about? That's the information he went Child. to. That stuff was on stage. Jason said he was out here doing the work of the Lord. Was you doing the work of the Lord, but you was out here clowning dark skinned women on the um, on their show? Which, like, would you, was that the work of the Lord too? Jason Lee, I just, I can't take the, the, um, you ain't nobody's blog girl. You are Dr. Robotnik Jr. Like, girl, I can't wait till Sonic run into you and knock your coins out. Like, girl, I just, does Sonic knock coins out of Dr. Robotnik? I'm so sick of you. I don't even remember. It don't really matter. Um, but, um, I, like I said, I did like Yo-Yo jumping in and just saying that y'all out here dragging this woman. And y'all on her, and I like when, when she said, like, it was one point that Yo Yo, -Yo was on it. 
She said, yeah, she, she said men have a choice too. Yeah, they do. That's but, what she was saying. Like, y'all choose to drag her, but men have a choice as what they're doing as well. Child, so. period, period. But I also like that she said that it was one comment she had made where she said that, yeah, she he was supposed to stand up for her. Like, I, I think. Oh, yeah, because, because he was, um, Jason, Jason was talking about when he was going back there. He said, I beat you up and all this and that. She was like, he's supposed to, because if you don't, I'm going to check him. Like, Yo-Yo was on it. Yo-Yo was... The only thing I didn't agree with is Yo-Yo talking about some the, uh, the new generation needs to respect the older generation. Because uh, they do that time and time again. Yeah, it's just like... But it is the truth. If it wasn't for us, y'all wouldn't be here. And it's and, the truth. And, but generations have always said that when it comes to music. Like, always said that. But it's getting generation, worse. But it's, it's getting worse now. Been, it's getting it's worse now. now. It's, I don't think it's ever... I think it's going to continue to do... The, the, the way we see it is going to change. That trash Folks are out here playing on, on wooden sticks and banjos and stuff. Like, some folks don't even respect that. They don't think that's music. Like, some music has changed so much. Sure I don't is. think it's no... I don't think it's no deliberate disrespect to Yo-Yo. I just think that's just how it is. It's unfortunate. And it's trash. It, 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 like, that's just... That's, I'm not really justifying it, but you hear artists say it every, every time, and then they come into argument like, music ain't the same no more. Music ain't ever gonna be the same. It it's ain't not. like it's so sad, unfortunately. No, it's not. Like, we ain't listening to piano music no more. Like, we're not talking about that. But it just, like, music is Most forever. Most people that listen to music, they listen for a message. Most music don't even have a message. It does have a message, just what you're interested <laughs> in. ABC Raps, that's what it's got. Oh my god. Good night. Girl, and if that's what it is, that's the message I want to hear. And that's fine. I don't need to hear like a message about that. Like they said, the hoes are winning, they can listen to that ABC shit. Girl, right here. I, ABC I can take whatever. If I want to listen to folks talking about some turn the club up, that's the message I need to receive, and I receive it. Amen. But, um... I like Yo-Yo. I, I like that she was taking up for April. I love that she was doing it because April was clearly just, you know, she was getting it back and forth from everybody. And Fizz, Fizzle Pop was just high as a kite. He didn't even really curl. He wasn't high. He's just over it. No, he was high. His eyes was red like it was, was in the last video that folks clearly did. He was did over it. it. Was he not high in the last video? Absolutely. Absolutely um, not. So, yeah. So, what else was going on? Um, the cast started going off and, and was like, you need to support Moniz. Because Moniz is Cam's mother. So you can't be out here saying that she need to take care of herself. You're not doing the things to help her. When that's like, if you if you are caring so much about Cam, you have to care about the mother getting better too. And you can't be casting her to the side like that. Like that's that's messed up. Like I can't like you you only agree you look like girl. I don't care. I don't get to stuff like that, so I don't know. Girl, I, I, I don't get we kids. We know you got a stone. I don't have kids and none of that, so I don't know. Girl, you Almost there, so I'm gonna cut the cameras. Dead ass. Um, what is this? Lyrica B. What is this shit? <laughs> Britney B. In serious. Britney B. Because they had a whole segment of. Okay, wait, I'm gonna let you explain that part. What? I don't know nothing about this shit. Because you probably skipped over it. It's not interesting. I don't know who. I don't really pay attention to Britney B. Only thing I love is Britney thing B said that. that, that um, Lyrica. Like, <laughs> that's the thing they gave her. They gave them a whole, a whole part of the reunion. That's why I put it in there. It was important. Okay, we'll talk about it then. So I'm going to talk about it. You gonna Go right ahead. So I don't really know much about Lyrica. <laughs> not Lyrica. But Britney B. The only thing that Britney B. Her has Barney done, B. Don't shut up. Don't talk about Barney That's what they gave her. Who <laughs> called her Barney B? Nobody Paris. called her. Paris did. She called her Barney B. Barney B. Britney B. I said Britney B. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany did have me hollering when she had said, Girl, go the <laughs> Now, that was funny. That was funny. He said that she looked like a ratchet. She said that he looked like a ratchet when she Much said that she looked like a ratchet. <laughs> then she said she looked like something else. No, she no, said no. she looked like something else. It was something that she said. She was all. <laughs> And every time I looked at her, I'm just she looking at like all a this ratchet ass like It's all this orange. I'm just like, and the hair making no better. I just could not like she about to be on. Uh, what's the name? Like she about to light the black candle. Oh, <laughs> you still haven't seen Hocus Pocus, have you? No. Girl, we I'm might late. have to watch it tonight. We're taking every work tomorrow. No. You're not watching it tonight. I'll watch it later tomorrow. You ain't gonna never have time. Your off days are gone. You don't have no more off days. You watch it tomorrow. Yo, you won't, Trayvon. You won't watch it. I'll watch it tomorrow. On anyway, on you were out here looking like a gay-ass castle with this white pullover on. But move on. Girl, fake Trey. Uh, what else was going on? K. Michelle came in. Uh, video teleconference. Oh, she's <laughs> talking about 
<laughs> the circuitry she got going on. Uh, K. Michelle ain't got K. Michelle ain't got no no damn money like that to be paying no circuit. That stuff is expensive. I think that was a scheme. I don't think she was ever interested in that. I think she. I think she really does want them two girls. I believe she does. I don't. I think she does, but I don't think she's doing no surrogate. I think she. Well, she's doing the IVF process, so. I think that's to collect the eggs, though. But that's still to put in somebody else. It's not for her. That's still the thing. She wouldn't go through that process if she didn't want no, no kids. No, she's gonna put them back in herself. No, she's not able to. She's not healthy, healthy enough to do that. She still gets still a call get taken out. But no. girl, remember I told her. Oh, that remember I was talking about her. I just told my nigga with an officer who was shooting people. If you don't stop it. Oh my God! So we really came and share had a couple of jokes. Came and share does this homophobic stuff that always. What she say? Well, she was just like people. She made a joke about somebody doing something. I can't remember what it was. She always makes something like some gay type oh, of joke. I don't remember. I can't remember what it was. But I was like, can she a girl? Can you ever just not? Um, but came and she got there with her new face and her new teeth. Um, that was cute for her. What you mean? Nineteen minutes before the food get here? That's a mess. Um, Paris and Brittany B was really getting into it. it like Paris. Were the last, that's what they ended off on. Baby, it looked like that. Um, Paris is about to eat Brittany B for lunch. But Brittany B, all she had to do was use Sid attack, and it would have been over for we, just, we skipped the favorite part. What favorite part? <laughs> when Sid threw the pillow at Brittany. <laughs> she did. She did. I like Sid. I know her name is not Sid. It's Sid. Sid. Mm -hmm. She threw the. Um, she threw the. Because they had a. That's the reason they had a whole segment for them as well. So what happened? Met. Well, of course, Sid and Lyrica are friends. Mm -hmm. When Brittany was in the studio, apparently the producer asked, "Who you want help to?" Come? co-write this song so mm -hmm. she called Lyrica and Lyrica said I'll do it next day Lyrica called Sia because that's her they're both friends she said you know your girl Brittany called me to you know help write this song girl it was a mess it was a whole mess and then they started getting into it the argument about Lyrica talking about something you ain't nothing but a co-writer you ain't no writer bitch then you she was talking to Sia no she was talking to Brittany B she said you wrote a whole song for, you wrote a song for Justine Scott and it still ain't come out like so who put who on Allegedly, Britney said she put Lyrica on. I don't think that's true. Yeah, because the way Lyrica was talking, like she had the seat. So, girl, I don't. Even... And then it made it messier because they put the pictures of them, quote unquote, hanging out together. So it's like, were y'all friends or y'all were just hanging out with each other? Like, so was Britney? Wasn't Britney B in the Thought Box song? Hell no. What song? God was she no. In? She was on song with Yo Yo. Yeah. Was it a cute song? I didn't listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't listen to it. Ah, uh, we ain't messing with no yo yo. <laughs> That's so messed up. So Paris, like she was about to eat um, Brittany B for lunch, basically. I can't feel. About to eat her like a fish fillet. Oh, so lunch. She, she pretty much saying was Brittany B don't have the same energy as she had with Lyrica. Brittany B doesn't have the same energy that she has with Lyrica. What you mean? I'm confused. Like the energy she claimed, the energy that she was giving Paris is not the same she's giving Lyrica. Like why is that? That's what she claimed, but I don't see it. I feel like she would beat both of them up, so it, it won't make no difference. Great. It was like, um, Child Zell kept saying that. Zell oh, he kept said if she had a man too, I'd be like, well, your nigga, i beat his ass too. Like, girl. But didn't somebody check Zell for doing, like, I think somebody said Zell is, like, how he be talking to women. Is that was Brittany. She said he's a, an abuser. I don't know if she meant by abusing physically. I've never seen him put his hand. Like, I haven't he, either. But he can be, like, um... I don't know if it would be considered mentally. Yeah, that's like, why she said, I'm not arguing with no guy. She's not going to get into with no guy. I can understand that a little bit. I think that was well played. I think that was well played. But um, this episode... Was too much going on. It was too much going on. Y'all could have just gave us a part two. Y'all could have just... I told you why this is part three. They added Kendall Kendall in it. You had to give him his mix because... That's your Detroit native. Was she at the Wilbur too? <laughs> can we not do that? Because we don't know what their man is when he goes by. That's why Jonathan dragged him. So let's not. Oh, uh, Jonathan did Cause shade he him because he doesn't. He doesn't say. So we don't know. We can't say. Well, girl, she like that's how it is in the industry. Like, girl, you can't be there. But he's already playing that that um, best gay friend stuff anyway. That's but I ain't gonna drag that too much. Shout out to um, everybody who was on the show. I had fun. Period. Part three is next week. Um, Lyrical, like she gonna be crying. Um, both of them. Maybe both cry. Both of them. Mama. Yeah. Yeah, he, he crying too. He crying because that coat head went out. But the episode was decent. We could have just got a part one, part two. Y'all doing too much. I understand y'all trying to keep the lights on over there. But it's like, girl, we need all of that. But let us know what y'all thought about this episode, this reunion, part two. And we'll see y'all next week. Oh, my God. Next week will be Christmas. 
this Christmas. And they still gonna play it on Monday. Cause we're gonna be right in our hotel room reviewing it. A mess. Are we? Period poo. What is this, honey? <laughs> Mama Pam!